Hello, I'm Tom Murray. I'm with Applied Power Systems, and I'm here to introduce our new 12 pulse SCR firing board, the BAP3012. It's capable of controlling two independent, three phase, full wave rectifiers connected in a series or parallel configuration. Now, this is a standard 12 pulse rectifier with a dual secondary, delta Y. And these two independent, three phase rectifiers can be connected in either series or parallel. Now, for high current applications, you typically connect them in parallel, and for applications requiring higher voltages, you might connect them in series. Now, the BAP3012 can control other topologies as well. For instance, a star converter is sometimes used in low voltage high current applications in order to keep the losses in the power semiconductors low. Regardless of what topology you select, you will often have undesirable mismatches in the currents out of the parallel bridges. This is due to the mismatches in the turns ratios of the transformer secondaries. Now in order to create a 12 pulse rectifier, you need a 30 degree phase shift between the two secondaries. Transformer manufacturers do the best that they can to match the turns ratios out of these secondaries, but it often results in a finite mismatch in the voltage out of these secondaries, which creates a mismatch in the voltages of your bridges and these bridges is what you want to tie in parallel. Now you never want to tie voltage sources in parallel unless you have a significant impedance in series with the output which is not necessarily desirable or unless you actively control the current out of the bridges to be matched. Now one of the salient features of the BAP3012 is its ability to match the currents out of parallel bridges to within less than 1%. So now let's go to the lab and demonstrate this feature of the BAP3012. Okay, this is our latest generation 12 pulse SCR firing board, the BAP3012. And this is the test setup where we, verif we will verify how well it forces the currents out of two parallel bridges to share. Okay, so the test setup includes the 12 pulse SCR firing board, the BAP3012. We have our two independent three phase four wave rectifiers, each with their own filter inductor that feeds our 4 kilowatt load and again we're going to be putting about 200 amps into the load and we're going to be trying to match 100 amps out of each load. However, we don't have our, our current feedback so we're not using the ability of the board to match. We just want to show that with slight mismatches in the secondary voltages how poorly the current shares out of each bridge. Okay, so we'll just turn it on. And again, we had the 50 millivolt, 100 amp shunts here. So the scaling is 50 millivolts is 100 amps. And on the meter, we have 63.2 millivolts, which is about 126 amps. And here we have 39 millivolts, which is 78 amps. So that's 22. So that's about 48 amps difference out of, out of 200. So we're talking about a 24% mismatch in current without any feedback. We can see our secondary currents here, and you can see how the one is much higher than the other, and there's actually a math function that subtracts them, and you can see there's a significant difference at 10 amps per division. This is the output voltage, and the currents will be showing as soon as we plug in our current feedbacks. So now I'll turn it off. I'll install the current feedback, and we'll see how well it shares. So again, we go to approximately the same amount of total current, but here we have 50.5 millivolts, which is 101 amps, and here we have 50.8 millivolts, which is 101.3 amps. So there's a 300 milliamp difference out of 200 amps, which is about 0.15% uh, accuracy. So you can see with the feedback, the currents balance much more, the subtraction essentially nulls, you just some commutation spikes, and the current feedbacks, as you can see, are, are just about equal. So that's the effectiveness of the BAP3012 forcing currents to share out of two independent bridges.